Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to create a very simple business card. Let's let's call it an online business card. Uh, very simple with WordPress and Elementor. So of course you need to have Elementor installed uh, on your WordPress site. Uh, after that we can um, start right away. So we can create a page right now with add page and give a title I will create a home page in this case will be very simple and add it with Elementor. Great. Let's go and edit the settings right here on the bottom left. Let's click on page layout and Elementor canvas. Great. Now we have a blank page. Let's click the plus and add a structure like this one. Um, okay, now we can add a title. So let's go here, uh, click on heading. Uh, the heading will be my name. And yeah, let's add Aryan Shirani. Then um, I like to add two headings usually. So I'm going to click on this, um, on this, uh, on the title click right and click on duplicate. So I'm going to add here UI UX designer. I forgot how to write designer. <laughs> so this one here, this one here, and we are going to add also, let's see some inner section. No, sorry, some text maybe, okay. Once we done this, I usually um, do something like that. I click on the um, on the column here, and I start adding some percentage padding. But you just need to click on the percentage, uh, click an arrow here, and you know just click a little bit so that we have some spacing in it, and we can see our content better. So um, what I like to do when I'm doing like a single page is of course going to the main section and try to see if we have some height um, setting like fit to screen, oh great. So in this case, um, it's fitting to the screen. We have this in the middle. Um, I would like to create like, you know, a card. So what I'm going to do is to, um, First of all, reduce a little bit um, the percentage of the padding, of the internal padding here. So we are going to reduce that. And I want to make it more uh, vertical. So what we need to do is to edit the margin in this case. Let's click on percent, percent, blah, 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 percentage here, sorry. And let's add some percentage. Great, so now uh, we have the margin and we have the padding, but let's check out where um, where is the padding, you know, uh, getting uh, um, into this, this square. So what I usually do is to change the color, like I click on style, uh, normal, click on this, background classic, and go on here and see where is the padding. So the padding is actually the colored part. In this case, we will do, uh, let's say a violet maybe. Cool. a violet um, and uh, yeah I'm going to make it more vertical as I said so I'm going to advance again and on margin right here let's uh, click on here so that we unlock all the single values let's check on left let's put 40 maybe it's too much let's put 20 20 on left and 20 on right looks good. So on the bottom, we are going to make something very similar, like uh, we unlock everything. We put top, uh, we put 15, maybe it's too much here, 10, and bottom 10. Okay, now we created this kind of card here. Um, I feel that I would like to have it more vertical, so I'm going to, um, oops, here is seven. I'm going to uh, add something more here. So 25 uh, on the left, 25. Okay, 
Now it's a little bit better. I like it is more vertical. And what I can do right now is to add uh, an image. So I'm going to add an image right here. And yeah, so now we are going to style it a little bit better because isn't this isn't very good, it isn't very nice. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to click on Arian, that's my name, and change the color on white. Let's also um, edit the title, so typography, we click on here, and I usually click on REM, that's um, a measurement that I will suggest, but I will explain in another video maybe. Uh, let's click on another font like Poppins. I really like Poppins. I usually um, use this one. So Poppins, let's say oh, like this. I like to put the you know the header. That's my profession. Um, usually I do it like a little bit smaller. Uh, I click on here. Let's do it white too. Maybe I like to make it. Um, uh, on the typography again with this one selected of course we are going to make it uh, the weight we're going to make it 300 and maybe the transform uppercase um, let's reduce the, the size in here let's make it more like that and yeah so UI UX designer the names are Shoni and here we have a quick description um, in the description, we can edit here, color white. Uh, so of course, um, the white color on this, um, this background isn't, uh, you know, very good. I think that I'm going to, um, to edit this thing. So um, we need to click on the column. Sometimes you are not able to find the icons on the column, like, like in this case. So I usually click on right click here, navigator. And I get, you know, to the uh, layer that I need. So column is here and I select it means that here I will edit it and I can make it maybe more violet. Let's try something more bluish. Okay. So um, now I need to create, a, add an image right here. And I'm going to UI faces uh, on Google. So uh ui faces yes and click on ui faces great so i'm going to select a ui face and i think that i'm going to download um uh, let's see let's try this guy here yep i'm going to download this guy here save it on the desktop great Let's go here, uh, we click on here, and we push the content. Here, here we have our guy, oh yeah, cool. So caption, nope, image, uh, let's say thumbnail, um, alignment, we can choose the alignment. Um, let's see the styles, we can change the styles, let's see. Capacity, border radius. Let's change the border radius so we can make a cycle. If I put 100% in border radius, we make a cycle. And um, we can also uh, add some uh, box shadow. Let's try some box shadow. Uh, let's put it like here. We can actually change the values. Spread. I will take something very. Um, I don't like to exaggerate with those, but I like to, uh, okay, right there. And let's add some color, um, like something more violet, similar to the color we have underneath. I really love the effect that it gives. Great. So we just click around and here is the card. So I'm going to also add something else here. Let's see if we have the border um, border type solid. Um, we just add some pixel here like that. Maybe the color of the border, we can add it white. Looks great. So that's there. Uh, if you want to add some spacing, I usually um, get here and add a spacer. For example, in this way, you click on the spacer and you can give him some pixel like 20 pixel or 10 pixel. 
so that you know you have uh, some little space uh, great so now we can also uh, edit a little bit the square I mean uh, around it because I don't really like it how is it so uh, I, I know I changed it like 10 times right now but uh, let's give him some um, some border uh, effects like some radius um, if I click here for example let's click on pixel otherwise I will finish tomorrow and yeah like that cool right let's click on here we are so this is very simple actually you can um, make it with Elementor we can also uh, check uh, save the draft save as template or you know have a look let's publish it so that uh, I actually I'm going to save it and have a preview of it so this is the is the is how it looks um, we can also add some um, some background like if I click on this part here on this section uh, I can actually go and click on style and add a background tribe uh, let's add some cool stuff here let's try oh my god that's uh, not very good but let's try something uh, that could be uh, nice so I'm just going really really random here um, okay let's update so of course you can design as you want um, the page uh, but anyway you know um, this is quite useful if you want to make something simple so I'm not going you know to design it better <laughs> but you, you can change it as you want here we are going to add also some shadow for the uh, for the box so I'm clicking on here again so uh, we can go on border we can go on box shadow here click here um, let, click on vertical so we move it a little bit the blur of course I'm going to blur it as, as much as I can the spread I will keep it like that uh, vertical let's let's click here and maybe it's not moving move it sometimes it bags a little bit so uh, so vertical is like okay so it's quite smooth um, okay now I wanted to add some icons uh, and we can do it easily uh, you know for the social media and this can be done with icons so we're going to click here and it's adding as you can see an icon um, in this case I really not need to have more icons on the same line so what I'm going to do is to click on the icon uh, go on advanced and go on uh, positioning and click on inline auto so as you can see it's not taking the full space now it's taking only um, a small part here uh, and we can go and click on it and let's see what we can do here so style of course I'm going to make some little circles so I'm going to click on here uh, stay staked I don't know how how to say that I think it's staked um, let's click on style again and click on white for the primary color secondary color black so we have this kind of style after that I want to add some size hope oh, what's some size to the icon and some padding for the white spacing so that that will be the icon this will be the, the white spacing so once we done that we just need to upload our SVG icons so I just download a few of them so I need to enable these because you know um, it always ask for security pur purpose um, so let's say uh, I should have something like okay so let's say slack I have it right here so let's use slack okay so I have added slack here so uh, if you click on it you of course going to have slack of course we like a mouse hover effect so if you go hover uh, you can make primary color uh, white and secondary color black so that when you mouse hover nothing is happening <laughs> let's see why uh, why is not working primary color over animation nope um, okay let's see why he's doing with that super shape style secondary color 
I right call already. Oh, now it's working. Okay. Uh, sometimes I think it's it bugs. So, okay, for the white one. Uh, okay, because it's a colored SVG, it's not going to color all the all the icon. Depends on the kind of icon you are using. Um, so in this case, the primary color is going to be white, and on the hover, the primary color will be black. So that when we hover this, you get black. Let's try again. The icon doesn't change. It's just because the icon, I think it has multi colors on it. That's why. Uh, so you need to uh, use an icon with a single color, like, you know, a monochromatic icon. Uh, great. So I just learned something new. <laughs> so, uh, okay, great. So after that, I really like this icon here. And I'm going to duplicate that like more times, more than once. Uh, okay, as you can see, we have some spacing issue. So we're going to remove again those two and clicking on these, I'm going to advanced and then padding. Some pixel padding on the right, uh, let's add like 10. Oops, click zero again because we need to unlink this. So on the right 10 or let's say 15 pixel. Um, I really want this one this icon to be a little bit smaller. I don't like it so big. So I'm going to padding and size of the icon. Okay. And the padding. Okay. Looks like before, but anyway, I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, I just made something wrong here because uh, the icon is actually too big and it's not uh, is not changing based on the on the size so I'm going to edit this again oops so let's try 30 okay Let's keep it like that. So uh, the problem is the icon is too big. You need to you need to choose some other icons. Uh, we will see uh, with other icons right now. If I click on it, I select it and go on. Let's say uh, not this part here, but upload. I'm going to upload my own um, vision table after the. I don't have any social networks. So anyway, uh, Illustrator, Envision, Photoshop, Premiere. Nope, I don't have anything. Icon. Okay, let's let's say a uh, sketch. Let's let's use the sketch icon. Of course, you will use a social network icon, but yeah, uh, I'm going to use those one. Um, let's add another icon here. Um, let me check, guys. Um, Let's use Adobe XD. Adobe XD. Oh, here is it. So you can edit everything. You can make it very simple. Of course, when you click on it, you need to add the link here and click on Open in a new window. So uh, yeah, that's that's how it works and how you can uh, actually add a link to the socials. Um, we are going to add some last things here. For example. The column, I really don't like the fact that the column changed based on the content inside. So we are going to fix it. Um, you, you, of course, going to select the column here. Uh, I remember you to open the navigator. You just need to right click and uh, um, navigator here, uh, select the column to check if it is the column, you can hide it. Uh, so with this selected, we can go and edit um, the bottom or the top padding. For example, the top, I try to make a five. The bottom, I try to make a five too. Uh, this image is too big, so I click on the image and the width of the image maybe make it a little bit smaller. And uh, we can even remove this spacing because I don't think it's needed. Okay, let's undo that. I really liked with the, with the spacing. Oh to undo history, Oop. click here, great, or control Z, but in my case, sometimes doesn't work. I really don't know why. So, okay, let, let's keep it like that. I will put some five pixel here. 
Great. So I'm going to update it. I'm going to see the final result. So guys, if you want to know also how to animate this thing like this, just click on subscribe button, click the notification bell, and next time I will show you also how to create amazing animations. Um, I will also add the um, file of this page so that you can import it in Elementor and you could have the same page on your WordPress website. Remember, subscribe, notification bell, and see you next time. Bye.